welcome friends welcome back to the lessons today we will discuss about invitations but in the last two lessons we discussed about invitations but about formal invitations today we will see in particular about informal invitations so before moving into the lessons i like to talk to you about a book and two words in first about the book it is zoba the greek written by nikos kazantsakis the book was published in 1946 it is one of the celebrated books of positive psychology i like this book because of this positive psychology it illustrates about how to live a life to the fullest the story revolves around narrator's friendship with zoba who accompanies him to crete the novel concentrates on their entirely contrasting personalities the narrator is an academic bookish and very young on the other hand zoba is 60 years old but he is very enthusiastic about life zoba believes that human beings need some kind of madness to live a happy life when you take life so seriously it's very difficult for us to live in this complex world at one place zoba tells his master you got everything except madness a man needs a little madness to cut the rope and be free for zoba happiness is about knowledge and experience and experience is all about happiness zoba says every man has got folly but the greatest folly of all is not to have one the novel tells you how some underdogs can give you better insights into this world about this universe and about this life the novel provides you with immense positivity and it will definitely motivate you to think philosophically about our life and about this universe and to find some meaning in our life i'm going to introduce two words to you one is crutch words crutch words are words that we often use which do not contribute any meaning to our sentences i'll tell you one example i was like so bored so like i i was searching for a book so two times i used like in the sentence but it doesn't have any relevance to this sentence there are many other crutch words that we use in our daily lives like basically basically i think actually and and we use and many times uh, then honestly these are crutch words these days we come across the word quarantine quarantine is actually an italian word which means a span of 40 days so real quarantine should be of 40 days not 14 days as per the meaning this word is used in 14th century to refer to how long a ship should be kept in isolation if somebody with a contagious disease is spotted inside the ship these are the two words for today and now we will go to invitation that is informal invitation we have seen that invitations are of two kinds formal invitation and informal invitation formal invitation again into divided into two card and letter but in informal invitation we have only letter now what is informal invitation and when do we use informal invitation informal invitation is used when you invite a friend or a relative or somebody who is very close to you for a function so informal invitation is normally not used for school functions annual day or sports day it is used for private functions small functions like birthdays uh, or wedding anniversaries like that so let us see what are the points to remember when you write an informal invitation an informal invitation letter is written to friends relatives and acquaintances not to any dignitaries not to vips or not to a group of people it follows the pattern of an ordinary personal letter it has got the format of a personal letter it is written in first person and the style is very informal and relaxed no need of any artificial words or any extra words of courtesy in informal invitation letters different tenses are used as per the demand 
those were the points to remember and let us see the format of informal invitation informal invitation follow the format of an informal letter we start with the sender's address without name then date then directly we go to salutation there is no subject in informal invitation letter then the body the body doesn't have any particular pattern uh, that you can follow uh, it is a very informal kind of letter you can write some pleasantries and they can then you can go to the matter uh, what function you have and you can invite them and at the end one sentence can be given about uh, the confirmation how they should confirm their presence and the signatory as usual that was a formal of informal invitation letter now let us quickly go to how to accept an informal invitation we have the same format here too first the sender's address without name then date salutation then you express your happiness or surprise over being invited for the party or function then you can tell that you are eagerly waiting to reach there and at the last sentence you can express your acceptance i will be delighted to join the celebrations one day before itself so your relative or uh, your friends you can write all those things and at the end we have signatory so that was the way to accept informal invitation now if you are not able to go to that function how will you decline it informal invitation decline it has the same format as of an informal letter uh, sender's address in the beginning then date and salutation no subject the first sentence is same as that of informal invitation letter Uh, acceptance but second sentence there's a change i would have loved to come you're not able to come but so i would have loved to come to jaipur once again and seek the blessings of your grandparents if it is birthday uh, jaipur once again and bless so and so but my father is hospitalized the reason valid reason is required unlike a formal letter you need to give a very clear reason Uh, because it's a personal letter you can openly say the reason then uh, last sentence i sh- i really feel bad not to be able to personally join the occasion uh, then in the last sentence you have to convey your best wishes so that is a must in all kinds of uh, declining then at the end signatory now for the exam when you start writing this invitation cards or letters informal or formal sometimes you get confused that is the main problem which is faced by students in the exam hall they are sometimes unable to distinguish in which way they have to write the uh, answer if it is formal whether it is a card or a letter this is a confusion faced by most of the students i'll once again explain this invitations are of two kinds formal informal and when a group is invited for a function you prepare a formal invitation card when a special invitee or a chief guest or a vip is invited to a formal function you prepare a formal letter when somebody who's very close to you is being invited for a small party or a function you prepare an informal invitation it most often it will be mentioned in the question paper also remember that there is no informal invitation card informal invitation has got only one form that is informal invitation letter i hope you understood how to write different kinds of invitations and its replies i hope you enjoyed the session thank you